A very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us on Air News, reaching you from NTA Sports 24 Studio, Abuja. I am Tamara Ibiwe. Nigeria Football Federation President Amadou Pinik has stated that Morocco has the backing of the Confederation of Africa Football CAF to bid for the World Cup 2026 hosting. The 2026 World Cup is up for grabs for any nation to host, with Russia hosting 2018 edition and Qatar the 2022 tournament. Minister of Youth and Sports Development Solomon Dalung has attributed the slow development in sports to resistance to new innovation in the sector. The minister made a call when he played host to officials of the Sportsmark International in his office. You must graduate into debt and dumb people. Otherwise, this idea, immediately you live here, when they fire the first salvo of criticism, you will abandon it and disappear. Now to the Nigeria Professional Football League, Aqua United missed the chance to go just two points off leaders, Plateau United, following the Uyo Club 1-1 away draw against Rivers United in a rescheduled match day 22 of the Nigeria Professional Football League on Wednesday. Musa Newman gave Aqua United a surprise lead early in the first half before Emeka Ogbu restored parity for Rivers United minutes later. Meanwhile, on the league table, Plateau United of Joss remains unmoved at the top with 55 points. So the foreign scene now Kelechi Ihianacho is edging closer towards a move from Manchester City to Leicester City. The management of Leicester City confirmed the deal for the Super Eagles forward is almost done. He said the fee has been agreed, only the medical to go, and it could be as early as Friday. Ihianacho will reportedly cost the former Premier League champions about £90 million with several add-ons to take the fee to around £29 million. You are tuned to AM News, reaching you from NTS Sports 24 Studio, Abuja. It's now time to take a short break when we return. I'm facing a period when I intend to let myself completely heal. Confirms he will miss U.S. Open and the rest of 2017 tennis season. Thanks for staying tuned. AM News continues. As football fans across Africa come to terms with the recent major changes to the continent's football calendar by the Confederation of African Football CAF, correspondent Dane Desani X-rays the nation's cup from inception to date with a view of deciphering the import of the latest amendment. Nigerian football coaches can now adopt the freestyle play approach to coaching the sport. This is the trust of an ongoing three-day coaching clinic in Abuja under the auspices of the league management company and other partners. Clement Olon Toba tells us more. The football coaching clinic is yet another major plus for Nigerian football. And that's AM News. Do stay tuned on this channel for more news and programs. I am Tamara Ebiwe. Bye for now.